Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we're going to solve a Citadel Quant interview problem. Check the description for more Quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. We have a fair six-sided die, and we keep rolling it until the total sum of the rolls is at least six. Depending on the values we roll, the number of rolls needed will vary. For example, in this case, it took three rolls to reach a total of at least six. However, in this case, it took four rolls, and in this case, it only took one roll. So, what is the expected number of rolls needed? needed to reach a sum of at least six. Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Here's the solution. Let E6 represent the expected number of rolls needed to reach a sum of at least six, starting from a sum of at least six. Clearly, E6 is zero since no additional rolls are needed once the sum has already reached at least six. Let EI represent the expected number of rolls needed to reach a sum of at least six, starting from a sum of I. E5 is one because if the current sum is five, any roll will bring the total to six or more. If the initial sum is four, then rolling a one increases the total to five, whereas any other outcome results in a sum of at least six. So using the law of total expectation, we have the following equation. This term represents the case where we get a one in the current roll. This happens with a probability one by six and the plus one accounts for the current roll. Similarly, this term corresponds to the case where the current roll results in a value other than one. This happens with a probability five by six and again, the plus one accounts for the current roll. Using the previously calculated values, this evaluates to 7 by 6. Similarly, E3 is given by this equation. The first term represents the case where the current roll results in a 1. The second term represents the case where the current roll results in a 2. And the final term represents the case where the current roll results in a value greater than 2. Using the previously calculated values, this evaluates to 49 over 36. Similarly, we can calculate E2, E1, and finally E0. So the expected number of rolls is 2.16. Let's consider a follow-up problem. We have a fair n-sided die. What is the expected number of rolls to reach a total sum of at least n? We need a closed form solution in terms of n. Try to solve it on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course, Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.